Hi, you're watching Strangeware and this is all about the looks. When I was building my first real computer about half a year and a half ago, I did not really have a ton of cash to spare. So for some parts I had to go with used and one of those was this GTX 780 Amp Edition by Zodek. As far as I know, this was actually one of the highest clocked cards, highest clocked 780s uh, of its time. And uh, in some applications, this was able to outperform its generation's Titan and was pretty much on par with 780 Ti's. So yeah, this was really a powerful card, top of the line, I'd say. The only downside being that it actually, can, actually requires 250 watts of power with one 8-pin, one 6-pin connector. So yeah, you need at least like 600 watt uh, PSU to power this thing. But yeah, that was no problem. I got this for 250 euros a uh, year and a half ago when it was new. This thing retailed around five to six hundred dollars. So I'd say it was a good price. Uh, performance wise today, it actually is on par with the GTX 970 and 1060 and I actually have a 1060 here in this build and I ran the benchmarks and they really perform within 5% of each other so yeah performance wise just the same as 1060 twice as power hungry and price wise I get my 1060 for 210 euros so yeah again pretty much the same you can get uh, the 780 much cheaper today, I'd say something like 160 euros, uh, sounds about right. Well, the most important aspect of the, of the GPU is of course, it's, it's performance. I really like how this card looks. And it's a shame Zodek isn't making this design anymore. They actually used something similar with uh, 980s and 980 Ti's. But again, those were made in like all black versions as well. But yeah, I really like this black and orange aesthetic. There's just one downside and uh, I guess it's understandable because when uh, when these cards came to the market it was right around the time that uh, RGB became a big thing uh, you know before that nobody really cared that much and uh, this is a card that actually dodged the RGB bullet it, do it does not have RGB although it would be it would have been awesome if those fans actually lit up or something. Yeah, might have been fun. And uh, I felt bad about that. So what I did, I decided to give it a facelift. So meet the remade version of 780 by Zodek. Actually not by Zodek anymore, this is by me. All I did was just respray the shroud and put some LEDs in. And uh, I've actually put a strip of LEDs here at the bottom, you can see that. And uh, there are three LEDs hidden under the back plate, which I again had to make because by default, this card did not come with a back plate. So I just cut my mine out of acrylic, it's a simple with all four core to cool off and uh, they're actually these LED strips actually continue inside under lighting the fans so when you uh, when you plug this thing in it works because if you look really closely on both cards there is an LED header right here 
is a 12 volt uh, LED header that's pretty much unused, well, completely unused, to be fair. And uh, it's strange, uh, while other manufacturers actually used that header, Zotec didn't. But I did. And it works just awesome. Uh, I first tried measuring it with a, uh, with a multimeter and uh, it reacts to everything including like uh, LED visualizer uh, that was included in previous versions of GeForce Experience. So you can do everything including all the lighting effects that are present on other 780s that actually have LEDs built in by default. I'm getting rid of this card. Uh, it's mostly because I'm, I bought a new one. I don't really have a use for this anymore. And uh, so right now, this thing is actually, it's not on eBay, it's on a local, uh, local site. So I'm selling this for about 160 euros, which is, I think, a fair price for an older GPU like this. And that's including all the modifications like uh, like the backplate, resprayed shroud, all the LEDs, all the work I put in. But it just felt wrong to me that I don't have a video with this card. So that's why I'm making it. And to actually show you, it's very easy to modify your hard the hardware to your liking, at least, you know, visual-wise. It's been a couple of days now and the GTX 780 is no more. I've sold it for 160 euros, which is a beautiful price for such a GPU. And I've replaced it with GTX 1060 3GB version. This one is by EVGA. And uh, performance wise, those two cards are pretty much identical. There's like a negligible difference in those two. The major advantage of the 10 series GPU is of course the power efficiency. This card requires like half of that what the D780 requires. And uh, you can see this is an ITX version of, of the card. And what I've done, I've actually shrunk my whole PC down to ITX size. You can see it right there behind me in the Region Tech case, which I shall be reviewing soon, along with the 1060 and it's scheduled upgrade. That's pretty much it for this video. If you like the idea of customizing your PC components, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.